Hey there, Paul Wagler here for Rise Now in the Two Minute Wake Up Call. Well, I have today in my hands two different kinds of objects. One is a bucket and the other is a pipe. And I think there's some things that we can learn from these two different things about our journey as followers of Jesus. And as followers of Jesus, we often talk about the things that we receive from God. We're, we're filled with his Holy Spirit. We're filled with his love. Uh, he lavishes his grace upon us and, and on and on the list can go of the things that God wants to pour out upon us. And so when that stuff is poured out, the wonderful gifts of God are poured out upon us, uh, how do we receive it? Or do we receive it as a bucket where uh, it, it comes in and, and then when there's enough in it that it's full and overflowing, that it spills out and then it affects the people around us? Uh, and there is scripture that kind of supports some of that idea, that imagery. Psalm 23 verse 5 says, You anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over. And I think I really like that imagery. You know, the cup running over, we're just so full of goodness and it just spills over everywhere we go. Well, the other analogy that I really like as well has to do with this pipe. And this pipe doesn't really contain water or fluid. It just comes in and it transports it and it goes out the other end. And I want to suggest to you that uh, this is a really wonderful analogy and really wonderful way to think of how we receive from God and then we, we let it flow out of us to bless others. There's this verse that I love from Colossians chapter 4, verse 6. I pray it every day and it goes like this. Let my conversation be full of grace seasoned with salt so I may know how to answer everyone. Wow, did you hear that? The, my conversation can be full of grace. That means I receive the grace of God and then the grace that I receive just automatically flows out through my words. It's not that I'm trying to hold it in and when there's enough that it can just spill out over the top. No, it can just be this, flu this transfer straight from God right out through my mouth in the words that I speak, just like water flowing through the pipe. And we don't have to think, well, we're going to run out of grace. No, there's a never-ending supply coming in. If we let it out this end, it's going to keep coming in this end up here. And, uh, and so it's this wonderful an analogy of the grace of God flowing through us. Jesus says in John chapter 7, If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink, and streams of living water will flow from within him. So there you have the idea of something flowing, a stream flowing out of us so that we can be a blessing. Let my conversation be full of grace, seasoned with salt, so I may know how to answer everyone, so that the grace of God just flows out of me like it does through, like water does through this pipe. Well, a few things for you to think about as we think of a bucket and a pipe. And until we meet again, stay awake and stay alert.